Hey everyone, so I've got a quick announcement that I wanted to get out there before we start the video. I'm going to be attending Faithless Forum this year. For those who don't know, it's going to be a convention held in Dallas, Texas centering solely around atheist and skeptic YouTubers. I'll have a link for all the information in the description below. After hearing about the event, I had to take a few days off of work and get plans together to allow me to attend, but I will be there. I'm not a speaker or anything important, but if you have the ability to get there, then you definitely should to help support your atheist and skeptic content creators. With that said, let's go ahead and roll the intro. So, a couple of years ago, I used to work at a fast food restaurant before I actually got a well-paying job. I was a manager there, and the pay wasn't very great, but that's not the center point of the story. The center point of the story is going to be my store manager. For years, I was unaware that my store manager was actually a homophobe. It wasn't something that ever came up in conversation, so yeah, totally slipped under the radar. When the conversation did finally arise, he told me that he didn't want his children being subjected to seeing homosexuals hold hands, kiss, or pretty much any displays of affection whatsoever. Now, I live in the United States, and for the most part, public displays of affection are completely allowed. So, to tell a group of people that they can't show that they are in love seems problematic to me. And part of the conversation he expounded on was that he wasn't even an advocate of gay marriage. There was only so much I could say to him at the time, given that I was working under him, and an argument on that topic would have definitely resulted in either me being fired or punished in some other way. But I would like to address the topic now that I'm no longer working there, and as such, am free from retaliation. Now, not very long ago, interracial marriage was considered illegal. In fact, the ban on interracial marriage was only lifted in 1967. It may seem like I've done a total non sequitur here, but that part of the story that I've left out so far is that my boss was an African American. Now, can you control being an African American? Absolutely not, you can't control any aspect of your race, no matter what it happens to be. And while his wife isn't Caucasian, it's as close to home as I think I can hammer the point in. In a way, I hope that'll cause him to have some empathy towards a set of people in a very similar situation. To deny a people their basic human rights, especially a right that is granted to you in the same country, to me, reeks of hypocrisy whether you know it or not. Whether it's environmental factors or genetic factors that cause someone to be homosexual, most scientists in relevant fields agree that homosexuality is not a choice, much like one's race is not a choice. If we were to rewind history a bit though, we would find that African Americans were treated in much the same way here in the United States. Yes, of course, I'm talking about slavery. I don't want to expound on this particular subject because it's kind of touchy and it's a little too vast a topic for me in this particular video where I'm just trying to focus on one very different topic. Suffice to say though, in my eyes, denying homosexuals their basic rights is no different than viewing them as lesser beings, and viewing other fellow human beings as lesser than you is how we justify systems like slavery throughout history. Now. At this point, his defense I'm sure would be something along the lines of the fact that his religion is against homosexuality, and therefore, he is against it. God doesn't want it, so he doesn't want it, and that would be fair. You can have that opinion, but it's a bigoted one at best. You can't try to argue that the rest of the country should share your bigoted opinion as well, especially when writing legislation. I said something somewhat to this effect years ago, and he pulled out a dollar bill and pointed to the in God we trust on our currency as some sort of evidence that we are somehow a Christian nation. At the time I didn't realize that our founding fathers were actually secularists, and that the in God we trust on our currency wasn't even printed until 1957, a whole ten years before his race was allowed to marry anyone they wanted by the way. Had I realized that, I would have brought up that point. On to the point of his children. Especially since I've heard this moniker before, I don't want my kids seeing it. I would have to ask what you think the repercussion of your child witnessing a homosexual couple engage in what heterosexual couples already do would accomplish. I can only think of two possibilities. In one scenario, you may think this will cause your child to think this is normal and accept gay people. In which case, not wanting that makes you a bigot. I would have to assume that you wish the alternative which is to be non-inclusive for homosexuals and thus inviting a small level of hatred for them in your children. In the other scenario, I can only think that you'd be concerned that your children would become gay themselves. Barring the fact that this doesn't really happen in reality, what would you do if your child was gay? If you accept them, then you are a hypocrite for not accepting others who simply weren't in your family. If you alienate them, 
then you're a bigot for being intolerant of something that wasn't even their choice in the first place. Now, there is a third option. You can completely give up this stupid homophobia for good since it doesn't really do you any favors. You can't hide behind the excuse that you just don't want your kids bearing witness to homosexuals since that just invites the previously stated issues. And you can't say that you have no issue, you just don't wish for them to have marriage rights, because if that's the case, then you should be perfectly fine with rewinding the clock on social issues and give up yours as well. At the end of the day, what really separates a homosexual from you? You're both human. The only difference is your sexual preference. And let's be honest, unless you're face down taking it after a night at the gay bar, I sincerely doubt that preference will ever have any effect on your life. Whether you watch this video or not, I sincerely hope this gets to you, and I hope my words reach you. You've been a good friend and a confidant in many other areas, but this one thing, at the end of the day, is just a little nugget of hatred that you're holding on to because your holy book said to do it. I'd have to ask, if you want to adhere to biblical law that closely, are you wearing mixed fabrics? Are you willing to sell your child to a rapist for 50 shekels of silver? Do you accept slavery? Those are all biblical laws as well, and I don't think you want to follow any of them. Be a good person. Be you. There's no reason to be hateful. With that said, guys, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and share it around. It helps a ton. Links to Faithless Forum, my Patreon, Twitter, and everything else will be in the description below. See you all next time.